Welcome to today's episode of Smarter Marketing. We're going to explore innovative marketing strategies to help you achieve exceptional results for your event. Today, we're going to continue our series on event marketing. And in this episode, we'll be diving into the exciting world of social media and how you can leverage it to create awareness, generate interest, inspire, desire, and drive action for your events. So let's get started. Social media has revolutionized the way we communicate and connect and even engage with the world around us. It's become an indispensable tool for event marketers offering endless possibilities to reach and engage with your target audience. By incorporating social media into your event marketing strategy, you're going to be able to amplify your effort and achieve remarkable results. Let's explore how you can harness social media throughout your entire event marketing journey. The first step that we're gonna talk about is creating awareness. And you'll see that's at the top there for a reason. And that's what's gonna help you to get a bigger reach and a broader audience. I want you to think about choosing the right platform and Identify the social media platforms that your target audience is actually most active on. It could be Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, you know, the whole list, Instagram, TikTok. Focus on those that are going to give you the best engagement. Then I want you to create compelling content talking to that audience. So developing captivating content to showcase the unique aspects of your event. Remember, this is about building awareness for your event. And some of the things that you could use to do that and write this down, those could be teaser videos, glimpses of action behind the scenes of what's going on in your preparation, people that you're talking to, maybe the entertainment that's going to be at the show or your event. Perhaps you're having speakers. So you can highlight speakers or maybe there's going to be an exclusive experience that happens at your event. That's the compelling content that I want you to create and make sure those visuals are compelling too. So the attention grabbing caption is just as important as creating that content graphic picture, whatever it is, your job with the content is to put something that's interesting out there, but also be able to grab their attention and answer questions and generate that curiosity. And in social media, we always use hashtags, but I want you to think about event hashtags, that unique catchy hashtag that you're going to utilize for your event, specifically for your event. You can make a post and tell people this is how they can find you on all of the social media channels. They can use it as a photography search, that type of thing. But encourage your attendees, those sponsors and speakers to use it in their social media posts too. So anytime anybody's talking about your event, you all use the same hashtag. And when you go to the search bar, you'll see what other people are saying about your event as well because it's all under that one unique event hashtag. That helps to generate buzz too. So when everybody starts talking about that same hashtag for your particular event, it'll help consolidate all of those conversations in one place. Then once the awareness is established, the next step that we're gonna to get to is generating interest. How do we get the curiosity for what we're using, what we're having, what's going to be showcased interest? So by sharing the content, we offer those insights related to whatever's happening at the theme or, and sometimes it could be industry related, blog posts, infographics, expert interviews. Those are all things that you can leverage. And by providing that content, you're going to position the event as the must attend event for anyone seeking knowledge and growth or whatever that you have 
positioned this event for? What can they get here that they can't get anywhere else? The second thing that we have listed here and people love is that contest and giveaways. The more interactive you can be with these contests and giveaways, the more social media engagement and participation there will be on the networks. So your social media channels that generates interest, but also expands your reach organically. And that's really the cost of whatever it is that you're doing for the giveaway in exchange for the reach and getting out to new networks and being able to expand how many people actually see and engage in your content. Which brings us to the next one, engaging with your audience, is really about having that conversation and continuing that conversation before, during, and after your event when you can actively participate in somebody's dialogue related to your event. Find ways to interject in the comments or answer questions and provide helpful information. Um, for example, when does the parade start? or what time will the speaker be introduced, or where do we check in? Those type of things somebody should be monitoring on your social media and your brand, and specifically your event. So that social listening gives you the opportunity to be able to find out what people are asking. And another thing about engaging with your audience, once you communicate with them, you see that it happens to be a question that may have been asked more than one time you can then use that as a helpful tool to create the next piece of content. So if somebody wants to know what is the location or what is the time, then maybe there was a chance in the post that you missed to be able to share that information. So if you're able to create that as another visual or a graphic or something that goes out to help people or put it in the newsletter, um, as a bit of information that people need to know. So, so listening to, Social media conversations also helps you to create the good information that they're looking for. When you're engaging with them and you offer helpful information and answer questions, that really helps you to build relationships and foster that sense of community around your events. So if you if you realize that it it is something that they're investing in and what you're doing and your enthusiasm that helps them to become engaged, really the better it's going to be for the audience experience. And now that you've captured the interest, it's time to inspire the desire to make that event irresistible. They have to want to come to your event and attend it. So the sense of exclusivity and anticipation comes from the things that you're about to do. The exclusive content and interviews, such as speaker interviews, or what we talked about was um, maybe sneak peeks behind the scenes footage, anything that your social media followers enjoy and you create that helps to build that relationship with them again, but help them to feel like insiders and builds the excitement for the event. And really this slide here is about inspiring that desire to come and attend your event, whether it's virtual or in-person or a plus one. This helps them to look forward to and mark their calendar to be at your event. And the influencer partnerships is really technically about collaborating with people who are experts in your industry or align with your theme and having those endorsements and their involvement helps to create a desire and credibility among the followers that they have. And when it's a peer review, for example, that comes with a lot more value than it does when you just start talking about yourself when somebody else shares that information, it, ha it comes with a lot more credibility. So leverage those influencers. That doesn't necessarily mean, you know, your Instagram fashion model, but people who are sharing information, have an audience and have the knowledge and the expert level to be able to speak on your product or your event or your business to their audiences. And the last thing that I have on there is user generated content. So you encourage people who were there last year, who are coming up this year, who are at the event during the event 
if there's time for people to still continue or attend to share their own content and sponsors and speakers should be doing the same as well. So as they share content that's unique to them, their experiences related to the event helps to build that authenticity. It also sets and manages expectations of attendees and sparks a desire among other people who want to become a part of the experience. So if there's an opportunity for them to still attend and this is happening during the event, more people will show up. So if it's, let's say, a two-day, three-day weekend event and there's still more going on tomorrow, this builds that excitement for them to be able to attend your event. And then the last thing that we want to talk about here is driving that action. So they're aware they're interested and they desire to be there. How many times have you had somebody that was an RSVP or say that they were going and you're probably going to miss about 25% of the people who said that they would be there. So we already know that there's going to be amount of people who are no shows. That's just facts. It's given things happen in life. And what we want to do here is take some steps to be able to make it onto their calendar, make the commitment, add it to their timeline and get to your event, whether it's virtual or in person, either one, they still have to make that investment in time. So we turn the enthusiasm into actual registrations and ticket sales and making sure that happens. Some ways that we can do that is a clear call to action. I always say make it easy for them to do business with you. So if you want them to register ahead of time, then we make that registration step clear, manage their expectations, and put it right up front. If it's to purchase tickets, we give them multiple opportunities to know where those tickets are found and how to get there through the ticket sale website. And maybe it's just simply having them get registered for email updates or to follow you on social media platforms. We want to explain to them that it's important for them to follow you or subscribe or register up front. So showing them the path that it takes for them to get there. And then advertising on social media is another easy way for you to drive action. When you leverage those targeted social media ad campaigns to reach your specific segment, it is easy for you to publish visuals, copy, and those offers to help them to drive themselves to take action getting their ticket early, that sort of thing. And maybe making offers of early bird specials or discounts for signing up within the next week, those type of things help. And retargeting is also just focused on campaigns that re-engage users who have previously shown interest in your event, but maybe have not completed the registration process. So that's more about spending that time to encourage them to follow through, and it reminds them that they, they did not complete that step. And there you have it. It's a comprehensive guide here to incorporating social media into your event marketing strategy. This is one just one piece of your event marketing, but it is a critical piece that can help you share information, get the right audience, and to have that commitment from them. And it's a powerful tool. Social media can awareness and generate that interest and the desire for your events to attendees and leverage those capabilities effectively will help you get well on your way to hosting successful and impactful events. And I want to thank you today for tuning into Smarter Marketing and make sure you join us next time as we explore more exciting marketing strategies to elevate your success. And until then, keep thinking smarter and marketing better.